Hello dear children, today we are going to learn about lesson 5 from our English fairy book, Peter has a great laugh. This is a short story written by Thornton Waldo Burgess. You know children, Burgess was an American author who wrote story especially for children he was he had written uh, around 170 books and uh, 15000 stories he loved nature and living beings so much that he wrote about them for 50 years in books and his newspaper column bedtime stories he was sometimes called as the bedtime story man Here in this story, we are going to learn something about the adventurous and mysterious uh, events of life, expressions in their context, factual, inferential and extrapolative questions, expressing opinions on it, subject and object, apostrophes and writing a recipe. learn something about the story this is a story about peter rabbit and reddy fox they had decided to meet at old briar patch reddy fox was late while peter rabbit was already there behind a big bramble bush as the story unfolds we find that reddy fox had gone to farmer's brown's farm the pre previous night to eat cabbages he ran from there on being chased by what he thought was a monster. On hearing this, Peter Rabbit rolls over laughing and it turns out that he had played a prank on Reddy Fox. This story describes the unfolding of events of the previous night that caused Reddy Fox such alarm. In this story, we will come across some new words and their meanings that you have to learn, children. Uh, the very first word is ducking, next is bramble bush, dare to, gravely, obliged, sober, get his breed, snarled, darted away. In this first page of our chapter, uh, you can see a picture over here when a boy has darted a, 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 a target to the father, I guess, and the sister is laughing. It is all of a sudden very, uh, you know, the event which is unexpected uh, when the child was playing with the dart and the target and the the, uh, the, uh, the sister is uh, laughing and all of a sudden the unfortunate father uh, got up the hit on the forehead so it is what something funny or we can say as uh, as something adventurous for the boy then the father might have reacted uh, let's see to the chapter in reference to that and let us just let us uh, read the story the adventure of peter cock a cotton tail. The sun had just come up. Reddy Fox started down the lone little path to the green meadows. He was late already. He should have been at the old rare patch. By this time, he was afraid now that Peter Rabbit would not be there. When he came in sight of the old rare patch, there sat Peter right at the edge. Good morning, Peter Rabbit, said Reddy Fox in his politest manner. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. It's all because I had a terrible fight, fright last night. Is that so? What happened? asked Peter, tucking behind a big bramble bush to hide his smile. Why, I went over to Farmer Brown's garden to see if that new planting of young cabbage was all right and there i met a terrible monster 
It frightened me so that I didn't dare to come out this morning until jolly round Mr. Sun had begun to climb up in the sky and so I am a little late. Are you ready, Peter Rabbit, to go up to the new planting of new young cabbage with me? Asked Reddy in his pleasantest manner. Now, what do you what do you think Peter Rabbit did? Why, Peter just began to laugh. He laughed and laughed and laughed. He lay down on his back and kicked his heels up in the air. Reddy Fox stared at Peter Rabbit. He just didn't know what, what to make of it. He began to think that Peter has go, had gone crazy. He could not see a thing to laugh yet at. Yet here was Peter laughing away. Finally, Peter stopped and sat up. Did, did the monster catch you, Reddy Fox? He asked, wiping his eyes. No, replied Reddy. It didn't catch me because I could run faster than it could. But it chased me all the way home. In that case, I think I won't go up to cabbage bed this morning. For you know I can't run as fast as you can. Reddy and the monster might catch me, replied Peter gravely. Besides, he added, I've had all my fill of tender young cabbage and it was very nice indeed. Yes, continued Peter Rabbit. I just couldn't wait till morning. So I went up there early last night. I'm much obliged to you for telling me of it, Reddy Fox. I am indeed. Reddy Fox thought there was something fishy, but he wanted to find out more, so he managed to smile. He said, Oh, don't mention it, Peter Rabbit, don't mention it. But tell me, didn't you meet the monster? No, replied Peter Rabbit, and then do what he would. He couldn't keep sober another minute, but began to laugh just as he had before. What's so funny, Peter Rabbit? Tell me, so that I can laugh too, asked Reddy Fox. What? said Peter Rabbit when he could get his breath. I saw you at Farmer Brown's garden yesterday and hid under Farmer Brown's straw hat. I gave you a fright when I moved under the hat, so I thought I'll make a game of it and chase you. Ha ha ha! Ho ho ho! Reddy Fox realized how badly Peter Rabbit had fooled him. With a snarl, he sprang right over the bramble bush at Peter Rabbit, but Peter was ready. He darted away along one of his own special little path through the old briar patch. Reddy tried to follow, but the bramble scratched his face and stuck his in his hand and feet. That's all for uh, today, children. It's a time to say bye-bye. Have a nice day.